Hello everybody, this is Komodo Man one and I'm here to show you what I've just made this past week. It's very tiresome, but I got it to work. It's uh, Minecraft Pong, and I'm going to wait till night to show you it actually in work, because it looks so much better at night, as a black background you can see. And I'm going to show you the wiring right now. First, this is uh, m my control panel which is, uh, I like how I did it, but except the only problem with it, it's inverted on the screen, which is sort of annoying, but uh, basically these controls are inputted, and they go to these things which tell the wire whether to be on or off, which, uh, so instead of only one lighting up back there, all three of them can light up. And here we get to those go actually going up to the pixel, I used, uh, if any of you have seen Harbinger X81's videos, I used his um, board design. That's all I used, but uh, I used board design to create uh, the first part of it, which is the black stuff. Um, so he had that idea of bringing it down to the side, and I sort of liked that, so I went with it. Um, the blue is what handles the collision detection, and I'll get to that in a moment. The, the green um, d determines what's going to be going on on the y-axis, while the um, orange determines what's going on on the x-axis. So let's say this row of um, x's wants to be on, and this row of y's wants to be on, then that one pixel would show up. So let me show you guys down here One sec. Uh, right here is the other one that uh, this is for the X direction the one that connects to the orange and this is for the Y direction over here basically uh, since the new repeater is I don't have to make D flip flops for every one of these so basically it can just gives input and gives some time and does that and these are this is my um, start button and you can also clear the screen with that uh, sorry that may be a bit hard to understand um, but uh, there's AND gates attached to each one of these, one for the X and one for the Y and uh, I guess I'll show you guys what it looks like as soon as night comes let, let me actually show you the inside a little uh, here, let me get around here. So I had to make this really compact, but I sort of liked the design I went with. It took me a while to m figure it out how I would be able to do it. Nah. So here is the inside design. Basically, um, here, let me get a better one. It's the next level. basically it comes through here and it just goes up for the uh, X direction uh, so so basically it's just blocked off like this and it's nice because it can fit quite compactly I was having problems at first figuring out that I almost gave up Ruh. now you guys may be wondering why I built this uh, I decided to build this because I sort of wanted to uh, have fun get a challenge I also wanted to create this uh, for the server that I play on, which is dreamcraft.org. I enc highly encourage you guys to, um, to check out the forums, just dreamcraft.org. I'll put it in the comment thing. Uh, um, and it's really, really fun. You have to c get all the resources for yourself, but uh, that's what makes it fun, right? But anyway, uh, I w I'll eventually make it two-player to where there's... Um, two of these boxes and there will be one person controlling these buttons the start and the reset button and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun almost as fun as Spleef uh, no, it could never be as fun as Spleef okay but anyway um, let's see I'm still waiting for night so I can show you guys and I'm sorry for the waving around a lot I am ADHD and I tend to do that oh I forgot about the collision detection 
Thanks for reminding me. Let's see. Ah, wrong way. Get trapped in this very easily. I was thinking about making a roller coaster through it, just for fun. Why? Because it's Minecraft. Okay, so here is where the collision detection comes out. As you can see, the other one loops around completely, but since this tells it where it is uh, on the x-direction, um, yeah, on the x-direction, that's the only one that really matters as the pong is hitting the ball. So, basically, I, um, this is what happened. This, uh, so, all the, uh, second, the second before last row of pixels, the one before the pad, I hooked up to an AND gate with the pixels right before the pad. Here, I'll show you that right now. Um, right here. So you can see, one sec, that this row of pixels right here, um, and this row of pixels are right next to each other. So I set up an AND gate between each pixel, and said if any of them, uh, if any of the AND gates are successful, that means that the ball should, um, that the loop should restart. So that's what the AND gates are. That's what the blue thing is. It's a bunch of AND gates connected together all the input outputs I mean are going to the same redstone wire so um yeah that's basically how it happens and um, yeah okay so it's getting darker yay so I can actually show you this so you don't think I'm just telling you lies one problem is whenever someone plays it then goes away for a while uh... there still remains some redstone all you have to do is press the start button okay now that it's dark i think i'm finally ready to start this thing and show you guys that it really does work and i'm not just some crazy man so let me use the start button and that'll start it off and the only one of the only problems that i've encountered is that there's a tail i don't like that but uh, i can fix that i'm just too lazy to and you can hear the little sound too and pigs can get in here, that's another problem I was thinking about uh, when I make the other the opponent I can make a box and the pigs can just play against me probably win too, I'm very bad at this because the inversion which makes it harder, I guess if I had it non-inverted it would be pretty easy so you can see that it's uh, the ball is actually working and oh, stupid pig. Okay. No, my. Oh, okay. And then when I didn't hit it, it went through, and obviously I lost. Uh, eventually, I'll make a scoreboard and stuff. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but I might actually just make a uh, dispenser right here, and there will be the other player here, and whenever they don't have a point. Uh, the dispenser will shoot. Whoever dies first loses, obviously. The other person gets their shit. So, better than Spleef, I think, but probably not. Anyway, I think you guys will enjoy this. I'll play it a few more times just so you guys can, you know. Well, this time you press the uh, reset button instead. I'll also make this file available soon. First, I want to. Uh, wanted to get show you guys this video and uh, I'll, I'll probably post the download file in the, my comment on YouTube eventually yeah I missed it so you've got to get there a little bit ahead of a time because of all the repeaters now that he has the um, the uh, time delay it's sort of annoying but it's also good so you know mm. As you can see, r because it was right next to it, that's the reason it bounces back off. And, well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And hope stop chickens stop doing that. Although they're helping me. Uh, won't deny that. 